ineffectual communication. I got to tell you a story, and this is a story, uh, this is a real story, real patient. So there's, uh, there's this woman and her husband in my office, and the woman is screaming at her husband. Now, you know, sometimes uh, people get a little heated, uh, but this woman is really, you know, enraged. And she's screaming at him, and he's sitting right next to her, and it's about something, who knows what. Uh, and I lean over to her, and in the softest of voices, I say to her, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's like, what? What do you mean you can't hear me? I can't hear you. She, she had this confused look. And I said, you know what? When you scream like that, the first thing that I want to do is put my hands over my ears and shut you out. And chances are your husband does that all the time. He's got the mute button on you in a heartbeat. It doesn't work. This is not working. And she shut right up. I mean, you know, um, but being able to point out how people's communication is so ineffectual and, and being able to do it in a way, you know, that they hear it and, and they're able to actually incorporate a change. Sometimes, you know, there's not always opportunities like that, but being able to just reframe it for that person may be very powerful and very effective.